Hey folks, so welcome to another one of my videos. A lot of you have been asking about how to remove this particular tube from the G&G stocks. So I don't have any where I still have the tube on, but I am going to show you how I took this off in particular. I am trying like a new camera setup, so if I bump the camera a bit or something, I apologize, but we're all learning. Okay, so where you want to start is this bottom piece, this is obviously the one that opens, and there's your um, tube for putting stuff in. Okay, so where you want to start is, let's see if I can get this on the camera. There's a pin here. It's basically a press pin, or a roll pin, I think they call it. And that is designed, let me get this right, to slide in this groove that you see here. So that'll be like locked inside there. Okay, so what you want to do is you actually want to knock this this pin out. To do that, I recommend having like a small tool kit and finding something small enough that will be able to fit in there and you'll be able to tap it out. So you just get something small enough that will be able to knock that pin out. So that'll be the first step. The next step is quite tricky because that has to do with this hole here. I'm just trying to get it all lined up. Okay. That hole lines up with this piece here. Okay. I'm going to try to see if this will focus. Okay. So inside here, you've got the locking mechanism. So this piece is spring loaded and that's designed to adjust the stock moving backwards and forwards and then it locks and unlocks. So inside there, you can see there's a, there's a spring on the inside there, and that puts this under tension. So the problem is, is that when this is mounted, don't know how well you can see it, basically that pin is flush with the surface here. So you need to push the back just enough so that it clears the edge. Okay, then what you need to do is just with that piece sticking out like a few millimeters, what I then do is I grab a pair of pliers, I grab it and you need to rotate it. Um, let's see if I can do it with this one. Well, actually, I'm going to try to show you in here. Hopefully this will work. Let's get some light. Oh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. Eh. Probably not so good. Okay, but this particular pin has a cutout on the inside there for the spring to actually rest inside. So it's like the spring kind of captivates the pin so it doesn't go from side to side. So what you need to do is you need to rotate it 180 degrees. Maybe you can see it now. There you go. So you see there's a flat spot there right on the inside. Okay, so that flat spot must face towards you. What you can then do is use your pliers and you can slowly wiggle that pin out. Now it might be a bit tricky because like I say, there's not a lot of clearance between that pin and the surface here. So you're just gonna have to very patiently just wiggle that thing out. What you do need to be careful of is obviously there's a spring inside here that's being held captive by this, okay? So if you're wiggling it out, you need to kind of cover the hole somehow and then pull this pin out the rest of the way. Now you're going to see the pin gets stuck halfway because obviously now the spring has pushed it and it's now kind of half wedged in the hole. So to keep getting it out you just keep rotating, keep rotating and there it's out. Okay. So once again let me show you. Notice I'm keeping my thumb here because there's the spring. So let me show you this quickly. Okay, so there's the notch I was talking about. So the spring rests inside there to lock this pin. Okay. Obviously once that pin is out, oops, <laughs> let me get my bearings here. There we go. So you can see that's how it used to sit. Okay. So once that pin is out, you can pull this guy out. Now remember, that's exposed even when this is in here. So if you just yank that pin out, that spring in there is just going to come flying out. 
and good luck finding that. Okay, so you take that off and you see the spring is still held captive in there. Now you've knocked this pin out, you've taken that pin out, your little tube is gone. Now the trick is to get this back in. Now obviously you see it won't go in because the spring is sticking out. So I'm going to try and do this. If I bump the camera, I apologize. My leg is kind of resting against the tripod. Okay, so let me just show you the spring so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that spring in there. Okay, so you want to push that in. You want to get something just small enough, okay, to push the spring in. Everything's magnetized. Come on. Okay, I think a screwdriver bit's going to work better. Stay. Bear with me here. Yeah? Okay, so a screwdriver tip. Take that. There we go. And I push that in. Okay, you can hear me squishing the spring. And then try to get some light here so I've pushed the spring in okay like that and then I just take this guy with a flat piece facing toward you hey. there we go this is a bit, this is the tricky part so you've got to keep that spring down far enough that you can get the pin back in some of you might have special tools to do this I'm a bit limited. Okay, sorry, I had to do this off camera and rest it on my lap because the screwdriver kept coming loose. So you can see that, let me get the light good here for you guys. Okay, so you can see I've got the pin kind of halfway in. Okay, there we go. All right, it's still facing towards me. So that's halfway. So you want to now push it up a bit and just wiggle it through the rest of the hole until it's through here, okay? Then you're gonna kind of need to push down. I'm pushing this finger down to get the rest of the notch through, okay? And if I can get the light just right, there we go. So you can see the flat edge is now facing me. And then you just rotate it 180 degrees until it's captive again, okay? So that's basically the long and short of it. So step one, knock the roll pin out here. Step two, this bottom pin, apply as much pressure at the back as you can, okay, so that you get a, enough clearance on this to actually grab it with a pair of pliers. Basically like that, okay. And then you wanna rotate it 180 degrees so that, doo -doo 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 -doo, okay, so that the flat face is facing you. And then you just wiggle the pin out, take this off, and then just reverse the process. Okay, so there you go. It's a little bit tricky, but anyone can do it. Have fun.